Well, it's early September now. Let's see what's going on in the garden here. Um, so, hasn't been a very warm September, but plenty of tomatoes coming in. These are all Romas. And behind, some San Marzanos. These are getting kind of crowded out by the trees up there, so there's not a lot of production there. But the Romas are doing fine. Plenty to pick from. Been making plenty of salsa and such so far. Jeez, it's a bit of a jungle. Plenty to pick there. Um, behind them, this is cucumbers. Now there's a lot of um, leaves is starting to die off on these. Haven't been very productive with the cucumbers, but uh, they've been doing okay. Um, decent size to them. Won't complain about it. So, yeah, fairly tasty. Um, it was away for a couple of days, so these are getting a little out of control. So a bunch of runners left to get trimmed back, to keep some production going. And behind those are cantaloupes. So they're not crazy big, but uh, very nice, very sweet, nice orange flesh on them. And uh, you think uh, it's actually a couple of different varieties. They weren't all the same, but that's fairly typical from where I buy my seeds, <coughs> at least. Eggplants, not doing, not being very productive. Lots of flowers, but then they don't go into fruit. Um, again, I know these plants, that I don't know if I ever bother growing these again. They're just more trouble than they're worth um, for the amount of production you get. These are uh, beefsteak tomatoes. So nice and hefty, about one pound each. So plenty of productivity there. This is all uh, radishes that I let go to seed. And so I've been collecting the seeds from those. Plant them next year. Okay, this bed has red cabbages. This one has split because I didn't pick it in time. And so the top has, uh, has torn open. And that's what happens if you let them go too long. Uh, this also had green cabbages, which I picked ages ago. And all the pickling cucumbers that I had, I have since pulled down because they just weren't growing. And if it's just not growing, pull it down and plant something else. Uh, these are leeks. These had been constrained by all the carrots that were in here. <clears throat> and now that they have a chance to... To breathe, they're uh, they're growing fairly well. So, um, and they can stay in the soil um, all the way until it snows, pretty much. And then behind that, a bunch of kale growing, which um, grows faster than I can eat it, and I truly just haven't felt like eating it. So, so there it goes. All right, hot peppers, hot peppers, plenty of poblanos coming in here. Uh, cayenne peppers, plenty of those, um, growing like mad really. And behind them is the jalapenos, and the jalapenos are doing fairly well. We'll leave them until they start to get the cracks on them, and that's, uh, that's a good time to pick them. If you leave them, they will eventually turn red, but I think they're grand just the way they are. They make nice poppers. There's a red one hiding back there that managed to escape the last picking. So, all very good. Back here this is beans and something unusual has happened here. So, they've been producing and then they just completely paused to the point where there's no beans up there. But now they've been pushing out a lot of flowers again. So, it looks like we're going to get another burst of beans here shortly so can't understand what happened but it happened um, I have an irrigation scheme set up so that can't be the problem I don't know there's one or two that are still managed nice to escape through um, cherry tomatoes so red ones Chadwick cherry those are going grand we've had some heavy rain so 
when that rain happens, then you get splitting, and when you get splitting, it invites fruit flies, so you want to take care of them. Um, the black strawberries are great, lovely meaty flavor to them. Fantastico. And then yellow chadwick cherries, which is a mutated variety. Um, but they are very resistant to splitting. So they're pretty nice uh, to, uh, you know, they don't get rotten out as much. Um, these are all sweet peppers, so sweet banana peppers going well. Um, growth is a bit stifled back here too because they're in the shade. Um, but still plenty of banana peppers uh, coming out. Most of them are yellow, but there's a green variety in there too. Then we have also ooh, the bell peppers, various kinds of bell peppers. And in the front, this is like a, a banana pepper, which is just a nice sweet pepper. Very, very tasty. Okay. On the front side of the tomatoes, I have various leeks and onions and purple onions just uh, started. I need to get in here and start chopping things back because the tomatoes are going... They're sending out suckers everywhere. I need to trim all them back. And... Uh, Round it out. Goodness gracious, look at those tomatoes. Um, looking grand, so they are. Some of the leaves are starting to die back, so I'll have to trim them off so they don't get infected. And then uh, more beefsteak type tomatoes ready to do. Another great big pick. And that should be fairly tasty times. So that is about it. Bye.